Oh man, let me log into this crazy Keela's life on YouTube, man. See what all the bugs is about. Become a lunatic like all these other people. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. It's crazy Keela. Crazy Keela's life. Crazy Keela. Crazy Keela. Subscribe, become a lunatic. Good morning. It's a vlog, Miss Day 18, Sunday. I don't got my Sunday clothes on, so that tells you I'm not going to church. Not because I don't love the Lord, because hallelujah, I love the Lord. Babe. But I'm tired and I'm making breakfast for my family, and I do have to. Jesus, the events. I'm ghetto, y'all. I can go get my tripod, but I'm being a little lazy. And I do have to cook some breakfast. Um, I'm cooking breakfast. I have to go to Aldi's today. And my husband got to do some shopping today, too, for last minute Christmas shopping because he waits to the last minute. Period. So, um, he's going to go and get the stuff he needs to get done today. I'm super tired. It's been a long weekend. I had two birthday parties for Amaya. And um, I'm cooking potatoes right now, cutting potatoes up. But I had two birthday parties for Maya, one at school and one Saturday at the skate ring. We had a blast. She had a blast. And she said we're the most amazing parents ever in this world, period. Period. My husband wanted some coffee. Um, but yeah, after I cook breakfast, we're going to go to, um, not we're, me. We're going to go to Audi's and um go do some grocery shopping um i did most of my grocery shopping as y'all can see in my previous vlogs this week but i still haven't been to Audi's yet so i'm gonna do that because i want to get that done before um kate and savannah get back home and that's that but let me call y'all later finish cooking i'm gonna let you see my food i made some cheese grits potatoes eggs and sausage um and I made pancakes for Zora because Zora didn't want grits or eggs. Fat, Maya got a biscuit. Got that biscuit I had from, um, I went to um, KFC last night. So I didn't eat a biscuit. She wanted that biscuit. So I warmed it up. And she had sausages. Fat man had sausages, eggs, and um, he already ate his sausage, eggs, and um, potatoes. So I'm going to let y'all see my plate. Hold on. There you go. The sun was on my camera, boo. There you go. That's my food. I did make me a cup of coffee, eat because I have to go to this um Audi's in a little bit. So let me go ahead and I hit y'all back and I see y'all at Audi's. Hey y'all, I'm warming up my car a little bit. It's cold out here, y'all. Because um I gotta go ahead and go. I told my husband to put air in my car tire yesterday. He didn't do it. I just called him. I was like, listen, you need to put air in my tire today because uh um, I have to drive to Raleigh tomorrow and I need air in my tire. Now I'm highly upset if he don't put this damn air in my tire. I promise you I will be. Because I don't like to have to repeat myself all over again, like having to keep asking him to do something that he know he need to do. It makes no sense. I'm your wife. You're supposed to make sure I'm good. So make sure my head your tire got air in it. Pretty <sighs> can't wait for this air to just pump be pumping real good because I didn't wear a jacket I just wore a sweatshirt because I get hot sometime in the car when I have all that stuff on yo he need to put air in my tires make sure they're at 32 because one of them at 28 the rest of them at 29 he need to make sure they're at 32 because y'all know when they get cold the, the, the pressure our tire pressure changes and I don't want to be on the road driving and my damn tire. Which way am I supposed to be going? This way. Forgot which way I was supposed to be going, y'all. Um, y'all know it changes. But breakfast was good. I'm about to go run to the store. It is cold out here. But when it's cold outside, boy, who are you holding? You be holding me. Well, 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 well. <laughs> See if y'all don't mind. 
I like to talk about this ninja I got. He always complain about the things he ain't got. And the things he's a homeboy. I said homeboy. <laughs> Homeboys got. But lady, I'm in the. Did I just say lady? I'm going to say baby. <laughs> I'm sticking to a man out of woman. Ain't nothing wrong if you want to say to a woman, but I'm sticking to a man. Uh. My CBJ face. How you doing? I can't do that damn Stevie J face. It cracks me up, that damn rat face he do. <sighs> but um, yeah. Getting this done. Um, I'm trying to figure out they never read when they did my service my car the other day. They never reset my thing, so why am I think it's still saying that? Like it's saying that I need to get an oil change. They never reset it. It's saying service due, service is overdue, and I'm like, no, my service I already got my service. They never reset it, and I don't feel like driving up there for them to reset it. Am I trifling to leave it like that? I mean, I know when I need to take it because it's up here. They changed it and put it up here. You know, they put the little sticker up here. But um, do I really want to? Um, <clears throat> Reset it my stuff, get ground there just for resetting. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, but it almost scares me. Like, did they really change my oil? Don't it reset itself once they change it? Because it got a sticker on there saying thank you and come back in May, and such 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 miles or whatever. And I don't know why, but I would have to come back in six months. Maybe they realize that me, I don't drive like a lot. I do drive a lot, but because every time I'm vlogging in the car, but I'm not driving far distances. Like, my daughter's school is 10 minutes away from me, and the gym is like 12 minutes away from me. I'm not really driving the stores. It's like, well, this Audi's is, I only go Audi's once, once a month and Sam's once a month. So, um, Audi's is maybe like 15, 15 minutes away from me. So, I'm not really driving a whole lot unless I'm going out of town. Like, I'm going to go to Riley. So I'm gonna be driving. Go to Riley. And y'all, something else. I forgot to mention to my doctor about this arm. I have muscle weakness in this arm, and this arm hurts. Like I it I had my husband massaging it this morning because it really hurts. Like, and this is my my right arm. I don't know what it is. It's from the elbow to the wrist. What the pain is like like station, I'm gonna say station, is is more intense. It's another word I'm looking for. But the pain is mostly right here in my elbow part. And it comes down to my wrist. So I'm having, like, it's all in, is that the forearm? The four, is this the forearm? I don't know, hell. Um, it's all in my, my, my look, my, the arm to from my wrist to my, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, so I had, I'm, I'm, I'm worried about that because I'm not, I'm worried about that because I like to, you know, I lift weights, I mean, still exercise and lift weights, but I know this, with this hand, when I lift weights with this hand, this hand be shaking when I'm trying to lift weights, like I'm struggling. This hand, I'm just doing it. This hand, I'm struggling. But I keep doing it because I'm like, I'm trying to build it up, maybe to make it better, like get myself therapy. Remember I told you I kept hitting my elbow in this corner. And I, I was like, as soon as it feels better, I hit it again. And my husband said, maybe it's just real bruised real bad. Like, you may ever have a contusion, like a real bad contusion. And that might be true. I might have a really bad contusion. And the fact that I keep hitting the same spot, I don't even know. Maybe I'm just clumsy and don't, and, my, and I'm not paying attention to the distance between stuff and I'm running into stuff. I can't wait to get this damn thing down. I'm so mad out that damn Bonnie. And then I had a dream last night. I don't know if it's because I just feel so weird around that having my bonnet right there. I had a dream last night, y'all. I had a dream that um, my teeth came out. Y'all, If y'all can know, I'm real funny about my teeth. That's why it's crazy to me that I got a cavity in that wisdom tooth. I had that wisdom tooth since I was in my 20s and I had never had a cavity in it until after I got my braces off and like I told y'all food used to get stuck in between the gap of where because it created a gap between my molar like a small gap but it is it was like the top of the tooth was touching but the bottom of the tooth had like it's like the teeth was like this the molar and the wisdom teeth was like this with like a gap at the bottom and food would get stuck like in that little spot let me show y'all like this food would get stuck like that 
and the teeth are together at the top, with a, maybe with a tiny gap, but it, it was a bigger gap at the bottom like that. And food would get stuck in there and it'd be hard for me to get the food. And I used to be digging to my teeth bleed because I don't play about my teeth though. And I still got a cavity, but I had never had a cavity in any of my wisdom tooth in all my years of living. So, um, and it's crazy to me because in my mind, it, it, I feel like I shouldn't think like that because people get cavities all the time for various reasons. But I almost feel like um, I did have a fracture in my tooth from opening stuff up with my mouth before, but not one wisdom tooth. And the, doc the doctor said I had to feel that or fix it or whatever because if I didn't, it could potentially get a cavity. So I did that. That was a, long, it was a while ago. And then I stopped doing stuff with my mouth. Like, I stopped opening stuff in my mouth. Like then when I used to see my daughter do it after I paid all that damn money for braces, I'd be like, girl, all the money I put into your mouth, you better not be opening nothing with your mouth. Like you done lost your damn mind. She laughed like, no, it's not funny. I paid too much money for your teeth for you to be doing that to them. Act like you got some sense. Act like you know. 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 Hey, hey, hey. Just saying. She need to act like she know. So, me getting this cavity, I almost feel like, dang, was I taking care of my teeth the way I thought I was? Now, I brush my teeth three times a day. I floss all day. I gargle. I, I do all of this stuff, and I got a cavity in that damn wisdom tooth. No matter how much I brushed and dug in that damn tooth, I got a damn cavity. And that's why my tooth is hurting. And they said the reason it hurt so it was hurt so bad because the cavity is right by a nerve. Like, they showed me in a picture where the nerve is and the cavity is. And it's right where I was digging, where the food would get caught in. And I told myself, I thought it was a gap down there. He said, it is a gap. He said, that's why I said, because food would get stuck in there. And he said, that's how you got the cavity. Because you would, couldn't get, you can't get all of that out that's stuck in between that tooth. I mean, you, you try and eventually it'll come out, but it, it's sitting in there. I said, but I'm swooshing and gargling. I got, it even got a damn, um, what is it called? The squirt the water. I show y'all when I get home, but I got that too. My husband know how much. Let me tell you, my husband know how much I'm into making sure my teeth and my mouth is clean. He he, the one bought me the Sonic, the toothbrush, the you know, the motorized toothbrush that you plug up, and he bought me the what is it called? With the water shoots out and it's like pressurized water and it cleans your teeth that way too. That because he knows I'm real funny about my teeth. You see how white they is? I'm funny about my teeth. And I drink coffee. And most people that drink coffee and smoke and stuff and I smoke hookah, their teeth will be stained. My teeth ain't stained, boo. My teeth ain't stained. But I'm mad though, because I got a cavity. I ain't never had a cavity. When I had a damn gap in my mouth, I ain't had that I ain't never had no damn cavity. Damn teeth too damn close together. My my daughter was like, she wished I would have kept my gap. She liked my gap. She felt like it gave me personality. But I was real self-conscious about my gap, though. I had to get rid of it for me. I couldn't keep it because everybody else thought it was cute. A lot of people said they liked my gap. But I wasn't comfortable with my gap. And this is what I got to say about anybody that want to get anything done to them. Don't get it done for anybody else. But if you want to get something done because you truly are not comfortable with how it makes you feel, do it, boo. That's why I got my tummy tuck because I had a hernia. I need a muscle repair and I had lost when I would get pregnant I would gain all this weight then I would lose it drastically like fast like it, it, well, the snapback was easier when I was younger like I didn't have the extra skin I think that started happening after I got my c-sections and anybody got c-sections know once they cut you and you lose that weight it's like you have that extra skin and I see a few people that got cut and lost the weight and they didn't have that skin and I was like how the hell did that happen because I got the extra skin, honey, that don't want to do, it just want to just fold, you know, it's just folding. It's just gave, they gave up. It just don't want to stretch, it just shrink back to the normal skin. It just, it's, it stopped. It stopped. Give me a beat, okay? So, I had the two C-sections and I didn't get, I started getting extra skin. Now, I got a little extra skin with Amaya, but with Kendrick, I got even more extra skin. When I was pregnant with Kendrick, my doctor told me, you going to need a tummy tuck. You're gonna need to tell me something. Cause my stomach, the way my stomach was out and 
it's like sitting right in my lap. Like when I sit down, my stomach is touching the chair. She was like, you're going to need a tummy tuck. Mm -hmm. I was like, no, I think it's in my mind. I'm thinking, mm, I go to the gym. My girl, the gym wasn't going to fix that, honey. I don't like tucking my stomach. Mm -mm. You don't like tucking skin. You don't like tucking skin in the stomach. Because it almost make it look like you have a food. I guess it is a food. If it's extra, it's upper. No, it's not. It's upper. What does FUPA mean? FUPA mean... What does FUPA mean? Upper pussy, something. Well, I'm sorry I shouldn't say that word. My husband hate when I say that word. Um, but basically, it's, it's upper... It's, it's like the fat over your foot. But I had... It wasn't even fat. It was just skin. So mine would be super, super. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Shoot. But I had it. I had that skin. And I had to get rid of it. And I love it now. Um... Now that I, the doctor would tell me, they, I mean, they said it was going to be a scar. The scar, I don't like, but I, I, I take the scar over the extra skin. Because the thing is, is when you wear certain, I quite wear tight body kind of stuff. And you got that extra skin, it don't look right. It don't look appealing or attractive. So, um, yeah, I got the scar, but um, I'm fine. I'll be fine with the scar. Eventually, I will put a tattoo over the scar, or maybe not. Because my husband was like, so you're going to use a scar to cover up a scar. That's what he feel like about getting a tattoo. I said, well, I got other tattoos. He said, but you're not trying to cover up a scar. But you're going to get a scar to cover up a scar. And plus, I don't know how it's going to look. Because my scar um, keloid a little bit. So, I don't know how it's going to look. Um, So, I don't know if I'm going to... you know get the tattoo because I gotta find a good tattoo artist that know how to work with tattooing over a, a keloid type skin that's darkly scarred because mine is darkly scarred like I'll show y'all matter of fact I need to do an update like a year update because it's been a little bit over a year since I had my tummy tuck and my everything look good my navel look good everything look good only thing I don't like is my scar y'all that's the only thing I don't like is my scar I think they closed. I think the dealership is closed. I think they closed for the weekend and the, the, the service part. Because I'm about to say I can take it there and get them to reset it. Because Audi's right next to damn um, the Kia um, the Kia dealership. Well, it is what it is. But yeah, let me go ahead. I'll holler at y'all in a minute.
so I have to pick up some tomato sauce. Um, I gotta go to Walmart because they didn't have a, the tomato sauce was expensive at Audi's. It was like $4 for a bottle. I can get it at Walmart cheaper. And their Alfredo sauce. And I make my own Alfredo sauce, but I just add one jar of maize for Alfredo sauce. So, because making your own Alfredo sauce is expensive. So I usually buy one jar of made, ready made Alfredo sauce. And then I add my own ingredients and my ingredients to make my own. And I mix them together because um, making real alfredo sauce from scratch costs a little bit more money and i have a big family y'all know that so we be trying to save what we can but we still want that authentic flavor you know what i'm saying so you know i'll be tweaking it tweaking it with but i had to go to walmart because they was some of their stuff was so i spent 199 dollars for and i got maybe five bags maybe five no one i got four bags of groceries I ain't gonna lie, I did buy some Christmas stuff. They had a little an aisle where they got regular stuff. So I got a um a tripod. Um I want my daughter, she does TikToks and stuff like that. I want her to have this. So I'm thinking about her. She does TikToks a lot. I don't do TikToks like that. And I want her to get into doing YouTube because she's funny and she's beautiful. Like her mama. So I bought her a little tripod with a thing they had there, and I bought Fat Man this little doggy. It's like one of the, it was only like eighteen dollars, and so if I buy Fat Man something, I might account gifts, honey. If she think Fat Man got one more gift than her, she gonna have a fit. If she don't, she she she's not gonna play. So I bought her an LOL doll that I seen that it was about twenty dollars, nineteen ninety nine. So um, I wanted to spend one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Now, I didn't even get all the stuff for the charcuterie board because I want some of the stuff to be fresh. Like, um, I have olives at home. Amaya is shoddy like olives. But I want some fruit on there. I bought some kiwi because kiwi don't go bad that fast. But I'm going to get some more strawberries. And um, I'm going to cut up some apples, strawberries, and some oranges um, for the charcuterie board. Now, I have oranges at home already I can use. Um, the oranges don't get go bad that fast. I have oranges I can use. I'm gonna need and I'm gonna need some grapes. I'm gonna get some more grapes. Um, I'm gonna get some more grapes. I'm gonna get some more strawberries um, from Food Line or something when it's closer to that time. And I already have apples, so I gotta get some more grapes and strawberries when they get closer to the time. So when we make the charcuterie board for Christmas Eve, for a little Christmas little thing that we have in that house, like we're gonna have the Christmas brunch at my mom's house where everybody is making something and bringing something. And then we're gonna have our Christmas Eve like festivities at my house with me and my family. And then the next day we're having Christmas dinner with everybody. And I had to buy that ham too today for the Christmas dinner. So yeah. I got to go on my husband's bank account and transfer some money out there. Yeah. Well, we all got joint. Okay, we got all our bank accounts are joint. We do have some a couple of separate accounts. Like, he got a couple of separate accounts that it just his. And he, I got a couple of separate accounts, but just mine. But um, we um, have a bill paying expense for the home paying account. And if I am... Um, buy something it's something that the, the ham is something that he was supposed to buy extra he said he wanted ham so he said just get it and transfer it out of my account but i'm on that account too i don't spend money out of that account but um if i need money out of it i take it out that's my husband i do what i want so um that's why he don't worry about it he'd be like well you know i figure you just take it out like you just take it out if you need it and i do okay got a problem with it argue with your mama argue with your man if you got a problem with it you need to be arguing with your man because that means your man ain't doing the right thing my man do the right thing okay argue with your man if he ain't doing that okay so um so let me go to this walmart and get this stuff real quick because i gotta get home my husband got stuff he got to do too i told you of course he got to go um shopping for christmas so um let me go ahead and make it do what it do so we're making banana pudding. Oh, me and Maya. We're making banana pudding, and the kids are putting the cookies down for the banana pudding. Hold on. They help me whip up the um the pudding, and that's all they're sitting there ready for me to. But we're there. five. Remember we count. That's good. Five. Now start lining them up again. Let me let y'all see. It's so cute. Closer together, babe. 
Fat Man. Yeah. Go ahead, Fat Man. You do it too. Okay. Is that what yeah. Yeah. It's on my hand. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be on your hand. It's crumbs. Just put, keep putting. Okay, eat it. Got my bananas right here. These are not all my bananas. I'm putting a bunch of bananas. So this is all my bananas that I'm using. I like a lot of bananas in my pudding. A lot. Now, they look green, but these are soft. I don't know why. I just bought these and they were soft like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and use them anyway. We can do what they do. I have some ripe ones here, but like I said, these are, look, they're like, they're soft. I don't know what the hell is. I never experienced that. Where they look ripe, but they're soft. They look don't look ripe. They look green, but they're soft. So I don't know. Okay. Okay. Keep going. Keep going, baby. Doing it so wrong. You doing it wrong? Look what he's doing. That man is. That's not right way. She. You gotta listen to your sister. Listen to your sister. banana put in it's in the refrigerator chilling simmering doing what you do okay um i'm about to um wrap some gifts and then i'm going to start dinner get where I got some good lighting okay I'm in the process now to cooking and you see all that cheese I grated right there um I'm in the process of cooking dinner I did wrap a few presents that I was um gifts that I bought while I was at Audi's and um I'm about to work on editing some of the footage I already done but um I'll let y'all see me put that lasagna together Amaya was supposed to help me don't know if she's gonna do it because she's been a crybaby lately so I told her if she's gonna act like a baby she can't help me cook anything else so we'll see. You'll see. Gotta go. It's been a lot of things, but I've never been basic. Run around bases, came from the basement, never been shameless. So I got stay in the streets, get dangerous. So I might bang it. Don't like hanging, let's see family, please don't claim it. Like what you claiming, what you saying, what you bought and what you need. I'm at the house, ain't at the club. I'm really chilling with my seed. I love my poppy, put me on. I'm really chilling with OGs. Don't test my gangster, think I'm made. We gon' we gon' Tryna be here for a while in a good time. When we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine. Good people, times and good wine. Good wine. Tryna be here for a while in a good time When we ain't stressed out, just good wine When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine Good people, times, and good wine Good wine Streets get ugly, yeah, I seen it. Please believe me, I be tucked. Don't like smoking, like so long, so I keep sipping on this cup. Don't crave attention, just to mention, I be chilling in the cut. Glass got empty, now I'm searching through my wallet for a buck. Dollar bill, let some change in my pocket, oh no. Hit my girl, can you spot me? I just need a little loan. Out the house and I'm just vibing, vibing, vibing on the low. She said she on the way, but she gon' ride it, ride. Tryna be here for a while in a good time. When we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine. Good people, times. And good wine, good wine, good wine, good wine, good wine. Tryna be here for a while in a good time. When we ain't stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, y'all look fine. Good people, times and good wine, good wine, good wine, good wine, good
y'all. So I'm about to take a shower and get ready for bed. Just wanted to end the vlog by saying, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell, boo. Become a little sick. I'm tired. I gotta go up tomorrow and um, drive to Raleigh to pick my daughter up from um, the airport. So I I'll call y'all later. Peace.